My name is uh, Mark Fleurbet, um, and I teach at uh, Princeton University. Um, the, the point I'd like to make is that it's uh, important to broaden our perspective on welfare policy. We tend to focus on redistribution of income, but in fact it's much more than that in two ways. The first way is that it's more about people's well-being than just their income. There are other dimensions that matter to people, health, social status, the control they have over their life, uh, how their preferences over different aspects of life are satisfied. So we need to think of a more comprehensive measure of well-being impacts of, uh, of welfare policy. Um, and the other uh, way in which we need to broaden our perspective is to look at a, a larger set of instruments. So welfare policy is not just about taxes and transfers, but also about other things like education policy, healthcare, um, and even inheritance uh, taxes have a strong impact on equality of opportunity and intergenerational mobility. But even more broadly than that, uh, we can really imagine that uh, changing the rules of the game is part of welfare policy. So we can, for instance, think of competition policy as having a strong impact on the distribution in various ways, um, because firms that have strong market power tend to uh, reinforce inequalities in different ways. And also, uh, for instance, interventions on corporate governance can have uh, an impact on inequality, especially within firms. Um, and that's another area where uh, an intervention by the state can be helpful uh, without actually co costing uh, too much money to the state. Uh, regulation of, of uh, democratic organizations is something that's not costly but can have an impact on, on people's welfare quite uh, deeply.